morning. I think it's morning. It's not morning <laughs> now. <laughs> it's not morning. But anyway, I'm going to go outside and show you where we stayed last night. We did stay in this ski resort and I must admit it must have been one of the quietest nights that we've had since we've been traveling and exploring. It's beautiful. Um, lots to look at today. We've been watching the, um, what do we call them, windsurfers? What are they called? Paragliders. Paragliders. And we thought, oh, we quite fancy doing that until we looked up how much it cost. Anyway, let's show you outside. So this is where we stayed. Look at that. We've got the castle there in the background there. It's a lovely, beautiful day, really warm. We will put the what three words down so if anybody's in this area they can come and stay here it's a really good um, price we've been watching these um, power gliders come down and go up and some of them are really high really lovely here so yeah so very peaceful really enjoyed it thank you for having us of the uh, tourist route here this is just something that we found to look at some waterfalls we're not sure what they're going to be like but we're in the area so it's worth having a look these are these rare finds that aren't packed with tourists because there aren't any tourists just on your own, in nature. How lovely. Lots of lovely little waterfalls. Beautiful. I thought I'd just come out and show you where we are parking up for tonight. It's a brilliant find, really peaceful, let's hope, fingers crossed. Lots of birds singing away and we're near a lake, so let me show you where we are. We are, we are in a car park that um, is used for the people that want to visit a lake. I'm not sure if it's a private lake. Um, you have to pay to go in the lake and it's all sports uh, like boating, um, boat rides, etc. Look at this, isn't it fabulous? It's free, obviously no services because it is a car park, but we've done all that on the way. So that was really, really good. It does make you realise how precious water is um, when you need to find it. Um, I've never wasted water anyway, so... But um, thanks to the fire um, brigade's yard, they had some sort of tap fountain in there, so we helped ourselves to their water. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. So ahead of us, we have the cuckoo clock house, the which largest, the largest cuckoo clock in the world, in the goodness, in the Guinness Book of Records. Um, but apparently, they have made a bigger one since. Oh really? Yeah. That's disappointing. I know. So straight ahead, we have the second biggest. No, cuckoo because clock it was, it once was the largest cuckoo clock in the world. I'd be extending it because mine. <laughs> Would you want to wait six minutes before you do it stuff? OK. 
Okay. Then go in? Yeah, then go in. Is it over there then? Yeah. Oh, look at this place. Nice shop, glass shop. Can we look in there in a minute? Yeah, spend a minute looking in there. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie's just come out. Up the top. Great. That's nice. This one. I like this one. How much are they? What's this one? 218 euro. Oh. Look at them all. God, I mean, look at the work that's gone into that. Wow. Amazing. Oh, look at this one. Motorbikes. So this is where we stayed last night. We have found it on park for the night. Um, and then over here is a pet cemetery. So yeah, so really peaceful. The residents or the locals don't mind you stay in here. Um, obviously, as long as you behave quiet and keep it tidy. We have found some rubbish though that we've picked up. We're being a little bit cautious here because this is a, is it a green zone it's called? Yeah, it's a great, really green city as well, isn't it? Yeah, really green city, green zone. So we don't want to go into the city and make a mistake. And get fined. And get fined. Um, so hopefully we are being directed on the outside of it, going yeah, around. but knowing our, 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 our experiences. Experience. There it is there. We're probably going right into the heart oh, of the I city. hope we're not. Well, we've made it to Freiburg and we've parked up in this um, uh, motorhome parking area. I don't know what you call it because it's not actually an air. Anyway, there's loads of motorhomes here. It's cost 13 euro for the night. And, um, and the reason Mark's behind me fiddling is because he's putting our keys in our bag. Back. In. Anyway, I'll just show you around car park uh, or motorhome park or there's Mark. There is electricity here if you need it. It's um, 75 cents. 
uh, kilowatt. So we're near the stadium. Um, but this is it actually. It's really good. So we're going to walk in to uh, Freiburg. Yeah, really good. This is what you call street art. Not the graffiti. Graffiti. Just. Yeah, that's street art. Yeah, and that's good. You like seeing that, don't you? Yeah, that's good. It brightens that building up. <laughs> Whatever building it is. <laughs> Hello. said in the summer they come in really handy. Why? What the line? Because it's hot. Hot? That's not hot. What's hot? Oh, shut up. So all through this town, I think it's just the old town, you have all these um, water channels running through. So all over and um, they were created in the 1200s. 1200s? 12th, <laughs> 12th century. In the 12th century. <laughs> and um, so they're all over and they were for... What were they for? I can't remember. I know, you read it. I read it, I can't remember what they're for. See more oh, that's channels all over. That's what it's called, it's a float your boat down. Yeah, float your boat. The water filled runnels can be seen along most streets and alleys within the old city and is one of the city's most famous landmarks. Fed by the Dresam River with crystal clear water, it dates back from when the city was founded. Used to fight fires and water animals, 250 litres of water enter the system every 8 minutes. The widest channel is 75 centimetres, the smallest is 15 centimetres. Local wisdom goes that if an outsider falls into one, they are destined to marry a free burger. What about there? Interesting, isn't it? So this is the old town, Freiburg. Freiburg is a vibrant university city with a population of 230,000 in the heart of the Baden wine grown region. The city is a reconstructed medieval town after it was heavily damaged during World War II by British raids on the 27th of November 1944. The city is known for being the warmest in the whole of Germany. It was founded in 1120 as a free market town, hence its name. Free meaning the same as the English word free. The burg is like the English word borough. Burg can also mean fortified town, so the place name means fortified town of free citizens. So we've just climbed up through the Black Forest, oh, just on the edge of Freeburg, and we just come across this. So it's obviously a viewing platform. Obviously there's no lift, so stairs all the way up. Fantastic. It reminds me of Bologna. More stairs, more climbing. Not always climbing. So we are just um, climbing these stairs to the top now. It was quite a way. No, I'm not counting. Are you counting? No, you'll have to count on the way back down again. It's quite a lot of steps though, you seem to be going quite high. It's quite a, yeah, it's quite, it is high, yeah, it's quite a hike up here in the first place. So I'm pretty damn sure you're going to get, um, yeah, it is, they've got numbers on. So you probably will get dizzy in a minute because I know I am. I reckon it's probably going to be a couple of hundred steps to get to the top. 
it's actually a lot higher when you're coming up here than what you think it's going to be we're actually surprisingly high um yeah not far off. Okay. how much farther um yeah not far at all not far So this is the tower that we've just both climbed and enjoyed. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Not. Fantastic. And it's oh, it's such a nice tower. The view was amazing from the top. And they had a little um, platform right at the very top, like a um, crow's nest at the top, which was such a fantastic view from the top there. You can see that guy at the top there now. But, just a beautiful view, right over the city. It's well worth climbing. If you are in Fulberg, it's definitely worth climbing to the top of this hill, mountain, 433 metres high. And then the tower is, I believe, 30 metres up from that, 250 steps to the top. Freeburg Munster is the Cathedral of Freeburg started in 1200s on the site of the first church at the beginning of Freiburg in 1120. It houses the only Gothic church tower in Germany, completed in 1330, and stands 116 metres tall. It contains 16 bells, the oldest from 1258, weighing in at over 3 tonnes. The cathedral survived the bombing raids of November 1944, which destroyed all the houses on the west and north side. Even the glass survived, which had been removed prior by the church staff. So we're just on the um, tram now, heading back to the park up area by the stadium. So the trams cost us two euro fifty one way, which is really good. It's been a really nice city. Really enjoyed it. So we are just leaving the parking area that we were staying on for the last night which was at the Europa Stadium in Philburg. It was a really really peaceful evening. Denise is driving today, there she is, she'll give you a wave. Yeah there we go. Hello! Heading into the Black Forest mountain range now which is quite a large wooded mountainous area to the south west of Germany, Bavaria. If you are traveling into Germany, I would suggest making sure that your data package on your phone is, is good because buying a SIM card in Germany is expensive. We paid 25 euro for five gig of data which is the most expensive we've had to pay traveling around. The cheapest so far has been Montenegro, which was nine euros 99 for 400 gig. So make sure your data is sorted before you enter both Germany and Austria. Black Forest mountain range. It's not a particularly high mountain range. I think the highest mountain stands at about 1500 meters so certainly not small but definitely not the highest we've been up well here we are we've arrived at the world's largest cuckoo clock and as it says there it is in the Guinness Book of Records. Cuckoo's call. After coin insertion, the cuckoo is calling three times and the music is playing while the dancing figurines are turning. I've put my one euro in. I've just left the largest cuckoo clock in the world. It was 
really was quite something. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on our way now to... Mark was not impressed at all. Uh, yeah, it wasn't, it, it wasn't that impressive. So we're on our way to a uh, park up now, which is about 30 kilometers away, found for the night on park for night. So fingers crossed there'll be a space there for us when we get there. This tunnel we're going through now is 1.256 kilometers. They seem to have a lot of tunnels around these parks. Really good tunnels. just pulled up in this lovely um, motorhome park uh, free in Schurtark in Germany. There's Mark in the parking. I'm just going to show you around and uh, obviously we're going to put the what three words on again so you can see this but it is lovely. Here we are. Oh. So it's apparently only four, four motorhomes. Look at those houses over there. This looks a really lovely town, so we're going to have a wander around um, tomorrow. So this is the air that we are staying on. Well, I'm calling it. I'm calling it an air. It's not actually an air. It's just a, a place that the motorhomes can park up. But. This is apparently the prettiest village in Black Forest. So, and apparently Germany. So we will have a look around. <laughs> 